Hey, the chickens have been working through this spot for um, a couple of months now. It did have a whole lot of spinach and um, sprouting broccolis and um, all sorts of other things growing down through this side. And they slowly worked their way through those, then dug up the soil around them and did it beautifully. Um, then we've built these beds. So we're going to do a sort of semi-raised bed here, um, but also like a hugel culture. We've done a couple down the back here um, that we've got covered in black plastic to kill off grass. Um, that are full of tree trimmings, then um, a whole lot of hay, then a whole lot of um, manure on top, and then um, a whole lot more mulch on the top. And then we've got the black plastic on them just to let them fester and start breaking down for, the, for a couple of months. They're actually providing some great little shelters for our um, hedgehog families as well, so we've kind of had to take that into account. But as you can see, the chickens have done a fairly good job of removing all the weeds and the paths and really knocking them back. They're starting to um, get into these comfrey plants, which is unusual for them. So um, I think it's time to move them on to a new spot and um, give them lots and lots of greens to eat. Um, some of these hay bales have uh, really ripped the hell and so they're, they're getting into something that's inside there um, or living in there and really enjoying it. So uh, that's really cool. Um, nice to have happy little chickens and lots for them to do in here. Um, we've got one bed that we've planted, um, it's got a lot of brassicas and onions and things that'll come up over the winter. Um, and then uh, these two will end up being um, our next ones for spring, while we slowly build these ones with tree trimmings. I'm a bit torn because I want to put tree trimmings into um, chip to grow mushrooms in, but we also want to build these hugel culture beds, so it's really important to us to get them up. Look, I mentioned the hedgehogs and well, we've got lots of these concrete blocks around the house, so I figured um, I'd make these little entrances because they're living in here, I know they are. So I've created, you can see in here, no, you can't see them. There are little concrete blocks, entrance ways for them to be able to get in underneath this hugel. So you can see there's a bit of space in under here. Um, they're definitely living in here, so um, I don't want to discourage them, and it's, um, well, it's probably not far off their time to um, to start... Um, hibernating for the season. Sorry, I think I've wiped my screen with something dirty. Might be blurry. Anyway, um, this is the kind of one of the last wintering down jobs for the year, um, getting all these hay bales in place. And uh, from there, we'll just be um, waiting until spring. Things start slowing down on the on the food forest. So, anyway, hope you're having a great day. See